Okay, this is the last step, which is uh, just cleaning this up. And uh, okay, I've got to fix up one of the mistakes from uh, from from one of the old uh, tutorials. Um, I actually made this uh, this middle control for our knees, which was a good idea, but it just uh, causes a, a lot of problems. So we're just going to have to get rid of that. So I'm just going to go down. All right, select one of my knee controls, and uh, I'm just going to edit unparent. All right, so I only do this if you're working on my um, on my model. Probably smarter than I am. All right, there you go. There we go. Okay, unparented those two. Now I can just delete that. All right. Now what I want to do is actually want to parent this this uh, knee control to my uh, foot control. So what I need to do is I just need to go up, select it, go up, edit, and group. Okay, give it a name. That was the R underscore knee underscore control group. All right, there we go. Now we've got a pivot point. What we have to do is snap that pivot point to the heel. So I'm gonna press D for, all right, so I'm gonna press D for Doris, V for victory and snap to the heel. All right. And then I'm going to select my knee control group, shift click the foot control and P for parent. Okay, so just check it. Yep, that works, great. All right, and do the same for the next, all right? Select your uh, knee control, group it, command G, give it a name, L underscore knee underscore um, control group, all right? Uh, look, it only takes a second, but it can just save you so much effort in the future if you just name name things as you go along. All right, press and hold D. Uh, let's do that. Okay, there we go. Press and hold D, press and hold V. S oh, I'm not wrong. Press and hold. Okay, that's a bit odd. Anyway, press and hold uh, D and V. There we go. Snap to the heel. Click one. And uh, click again. P for parent. Just always check to make sure it's all okay. And it is good. All right, there's the knees done. Now let's do the um, let's do a root control for our spine. Uh, let's display grid. All right, I'm just going to uh, make a, a curve here. I'll turn my body on just so I can see. I'm going to press and hold V to snap to my root control. All right, and okay, I'm just going to make this a bit smaller. All right, just. Choose some of these things here, just to make sure that I understand that it is a different sort of control. That should do. Object mode, there we go. Course, edit, delete by type history, and modify freeze transformations. All right, there we go. Now hide my body, and I'm just gonna hide my grid. All right, now what I want to do is I just want to go in. I'm going to select my root. Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to give this a name. All right, I've got my that, that uh, control I just did. I'm going to call that root underscore control. There we go. And uh, now I'm going to select my root joint, shift click my root, root control, and P for parent. There we go, just have a quick check. Lovely, all right, that works. Next, I wanna uh, parent all those controls to my root control. All right, click the top one, the one above it, shift click the one below, P for parent. All right, next one up, shift click my root control, P for parent. All right, there we go, one. Shift click root control P for parent. And again, shift click and P for parent. All right, now it's not quite working there too well. 
All right, that's okay. Um, what we're gonna do is fix that up, which took me a long time to do uh, this week. Here we go, we're just gonna select all of these. Okay, all your clusters. Yep, and there you go. You're just gonna go edit and down to, to, uh, to group. All right, so clusters are now in a group. And I'll call that cluster group. All right, now this is the tricky bit. All right, you got the pivot point. You want that pivot point to go up to the uh, root control. So that's press and hold D, press and hold V. All right, S there you go, snap it right up there. And then the next thing is shift click onto the root control and P for parent. All right, now I had a lot of trouble with that this week. All right, better get that back to zero. So just uh, just make sure that make your group, uh, your cluster group, and parent it to the root control. All right, there we go, good. All right, that's working. Now let's make a master control, and then that should be about it. All right, display grid. Okay, make another control. There we go. Control vertex. All right, and just uh, shape it a little bit. Not that important, but it does look a little bit nicer. Forty-five. All right. There's our root control. Give it a name, which is not root control. This is actually master control. There we go. All right, and then we've got to, we've just got to edit, delete by type history and modify freeze transformations. All right, now what we can do is we can now just shift click on our foot control. Sorry, we just click on our foot control, shift click on our master control and P for parent. All right, just have a look. Yep, works. Click on the foot, shift click on the master control, P for parent. And we'll do the same with the root control. Shift click onto the master control and P for parent. There you go, great. It's all there. We can now just move that around, make it smaller, okay, without too many problems. All right, last thing we can do is we can just tidy this up. I've got some text here. I don't need that anymore. All right, oh, I've got my archive handle. All right, I'm just gonna select those three objects there and uh, command G and I'm just gonna call that my underscore model. Okay, there we go. So we've got a model, it's all been uh, okay. it's all being rigged, ready to go. Now the next step we're going to be doing is the fun part, which is the uh, painting the skin weights. Uh, might just have a break before we're uh, ready to do that. Okay, I'll uh, see you later.